And Chris, how are the tropics? Are they still active? Yes, Tali. So, of course, we're seeing that increasing activity as we look at the tropics, one in the Bay of Campeche and then another area just off the east coast of the United States. But looking at the current situation, we're seeing some activity there, a portion in an across portions of southern Mexico there. As we look at that infrared satellite there, we're seeing that disturbance that's well off towards the south, and they're dealing with another disturbance that's off the coast of uh, South Carolina there. Uh, but National Hurricane Center is now giving this a 20% chance of development within two days and it has increased that to 50 percent chance within the next five days so a very good chance that this could develop into a tropical storm however there's a lot of uncertainty with this system as there's several factors involved that could prevent this from uh, keeping its organization right now it's called invest 92 l uh, in the bay of campeche weather models are a little bit still all over the place and of course i know you see that one going towards south texas but just know that these weather models have been very inconsistent on the uh, timing and the tracks of this situation, even though our European and our GFS model has uh, this going into uh, Louisiana, Mississippi as a possible tropical depression. But of course, a little too early to tell uh, how intense this is going to be. We don't expect this to be a full-fledged hurricane, but uh, we do have a high-pressure system that's situated over the southern Gulf. That's going to remain across the picture as we head into uh, Monday and Tuesday. And then as we go into Wednesday and Thursday, that's where we're going to start seeing this one to start moving towards the north and we're going to get some showers out of this across south texas also that's going to be increasing some seas here on south padre island but as we go into looking at that situation it's just uh, most of the models are kind of in agreement that this is going to be moving towards the north whether or not it's going to uh, remain off towards the south but uh, it's very un uncertain so it's still too early to tell because we also have some saharan dust that's moving into the gulf of mexico so what this does is that this dust actually prevents uh, systems from forming that could tear some systems apart that is known to turn uh, to tear hurricanes apart and so we're going to have to keep an eye on that situation so there's a lot of factors involved but definitely uh, keep an eye on the situation in the coming days especially we are in hurricane season you want to stay prepared uh, with this situation as we go into the next uh, two to three weeks there but uh, the impacts to the RGV expecting increased tide and rough seas along the coast especially if that system does move uh, towards the uh, the east of us there we are expecting some scattered showers mainly in the lower valley starting on Wednesday lasting through Thursday and Friday, uh, not expecting any widespread flooding rain. However, we could see some scattered showers, so uh, definitely uh, kind of uh, use the time to prepare now for hurricane season as we are going to be dealing with this type of situation in the next two to three months. Right now, uh, calm and clear. 82 in McAllen, winds out of the east southeast at eight miles an hour. Of course, in Brownsville, see, still seeing some warm conditions. 81 in Brownsville with winds out of the east at three miles an hour. We had mostly calm conditions today, uh, not really any wind speeds uh, today, but dew point right Right now still remaining rather muggy across South Texas there. And that's going to be the case for tomorrow. We have a high pressure system situated all across West Texas. That's what's responsible for keeping conditions mostly calm and clear uh, for most of the state. And that's what's been giving us that muggy conditions within the past several days. But of course, future clouds and radar expecting calm and clear conditions from Monday and Tuesday. Very hot and muggy. And then going into Wednesday, that's where we're going to start seeing those rain showers start moving on in as we head into the end of the week into the next weekend there. So expecting some of those rain chances to return. Of course, we are dealing with some very good improvements in that drought condition across the area. Another day with that heat index feeling much like uh, surpassing the 100 degree mark. For your seven day forecast, expect those temperatures once again to top out in the 90s for Monday and Tuesday, and then expecting to see that situation just kind of remain in the picture for overnight lows in the 70s. And again, that rain chance coming into the picture for Wednesday and Thursday, lasting through Saturday, but remaining warm for the next seven days. Tylisa?